I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to do a player that, I mean, technically speaking, he's been out since, well, January or whenever Team of the Year was released. In fact, let me go check to see when Team of the Year was released. Came out the 6th of January. Technically speaking, this car would have been out then. But it's been altered slightly. Uh, let me just have a quick look to see what the stats are. So this version of the card has one better dribbling, one better physical, except stamina, which is already 99. So well done. And then it's got one worse off for shot power, long shots, penalties, and attack positioning. Everything else about the card is basically the same. Now, the Team of the Year card is currently coming in at around 3... Uh, between 360 and 390-ish. The Team of the Season is uh, slightly cheaper, between 3 and 350. So, you can get the Team of the Season cheaper than the Team of the Year. I think it's probably because a lot of people would prefer the Team of the Year price. Plus, the demand for those... Well, not the demand, the supply, sorry, for those will be a little bit less... A lot less because they're not in packs anymore and some people have probably stopped playing the game with them on their account etc and so on and so forth why am i reviewing him uh, a minute and a half into the video well uh, it's because i packed him and he is in packs right now so it kind of makes sense for me to do the review if you haven't seen anything of team of the year or indeed team of the season andy robertson and this is coming from someone who hasn't used the team of the year version outside of the draft so i don't really know or rather didn't really know what to expect from him now with that being said uh th there are a lot of chem styles you can use here i mean I've gone with a um, I've gone with a backbone because it turns him into a 97 rated left back, but it is entirely up to you as to what you want to take from it. So 91 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. For me, that didn't need touching. You can obviously you can give him an engine, you can put a shadow on him if you're mental. You can do whatever you want, right? But I th for me at least, that acceleration and sprint speed is enough. The shot power, long shots, finishing, so on and so forth. It, you know, it is what it is. Good shot power and good attack positioning, terrible finishing, and not great long shots. Are you really going to get into a situation with your fullback where you're going to be taking shots? Probably not. Some of you will. Some of you probably use your fullbacks as strikers. You know, because there are some people out there who do some really crazy stuff. However, I'm not one of those. I'm rather traditional. I use them to overlap. That's about it. So it's not really going to happen from my standpoint. I'm just going to leave them as they are. The passing goes up to 99 for vision, short passing and curve with 91 long passing. He's already got 99 crossing, so that just turns him into one of the most deadly passes in the game with a backbone. Not going to touch the dribbling. Get back to that in a second. 99 interceptions, defensive away in a stand tackle and slide tackle. Quite possibly the best defender in the game from that point of view, really, if you think about it. I mean, 99 for everything apart from heading. And he does score a goal, which ironically is with his head in this game. And it's a powerful header. Great run, great positioning, good header. And you obviously will get to see it. But uh, that's the team I've got him in. You've probably already seen it if you watched the Kovacic review or the Adama review. Because I had both of those running at the same time. I did play a few games without those uh, Kovacic and Adama. Because I'd finished the reviews and I'd since sold them. Uh, but obviously I kept Robertson to, to finish it off. So I did replace them with a few other team of the season cards. But uh, for the most part, at least, he played the majority of his games in that team. You'll see the other cards that I reviewed, of course, going forward, probably tomorrow. Uh, but with that being said, uh, in terms of his dribbling, I didn't feel like I needed to improve it, really. I mean, 90 dribbling, 94 ball control, 97 reactions, 90 agility, 92 composure. For a, 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 a I don't know, central midfield player or a cam, yeah, sure, why not? Let's improve it. Let's give him the best we can. But for a left back, that is fine. That is absolutely fine. We don't need to have 99 ball control dribbling and so on and so forth for a, for a left back. I mean, yeah, it's not going to hurt and it'll be nice to have it, but it's not the end of the world that he doesn't have it. It was a decent trade-off because that strength needed to be boosted. Now up to 83, definitely much better. We could have made it maybe a little bit better than that again. I'm just trying to find a chem style that would have given me 
the... I mean, the Sentinel is probably the only other chem style that we could have... I mean, to be fair, the Sentinel wouldn't have been a bad idea. He goes to 99 for everything in defending. His heading goes up to 82 rather than 77. So that's a, a, a plus. And, of course, his strength goes to 88, as well as his jumping that goes to 84. So, actually, the Sentinel would probably not have been a bad shout. Turns him into a higher-rated centre-back and a higher-rated left wing-back as well, if you're interested in that sort of thing. He's actually a 96-rated CDM. You can get him to a 97-rated CDM if you just give him a powerhouse chem style, uh, or the backbone, incidentally. Abs I mean, it's just... A r apart from a striker, right... You can give him any chem style you want to suit the position you want to play him in, and you can turn him into a 92 plus rated player minimum for any position. In fact, I think it's not, yeah, 93. Apart from striker, you can turn him into a 93 plus player in any position on the pitch, which is absolutely crazy. In terms of, I'm just trying to find, in terms of a finisher, I think 89 in terms of a um, striker is the best you can make it. That's with a dead eye. But it's just crazy to have a card that well-rounded that you can quite literally use in any position. His crossing is spot on if and when you want to use it. I myself, as well as I would imagine the majority of people out there, you're not going to be using crossing. It's just not a thing. I mean, maybe for the odd objective or something, sure. But other than that, probably not. His forward runs are really powerful, uh, really, really effective. As you can see, they ran all the way from his own half into the penalty area. Great dribbling, nice ball control, good agility, plays it across. And of course, you've got a Hummels there that, that blocks it out. Tracking back, not a problem. I mean, the pace is, is in abundance, right? We're up against Daniel James there, not a problem. Caught him up quite nicely. Got enough time and, and room to be able to chip that up to himself. Not that there was any need to. And he manages to scoop it out of, of trouble. But in general, this card will offer you something for, for whatever position that you want him in. And it's an end game card in every sense of the word. So if we come down to the, the price, which I'm sure is the sticking point for many, I think between three and 350 is probably spot on. Like, okay, would be amazing if it was less, obviously. If this was 200K, we'd be laughing. If this was 100K, we'd be laughing. If this was an SBC with 183 rated team, yeah, brilliant. But for an end game left back that you will quite literally keep in your team from now until the end of the game, is 300 to 350 that much to spend on this on this card? I, I genuinely don't think it is. I think that is the optimum price for a card that you'll have until the end of the game. If you're like me and you like to chop and change your teams a lot and you'll play some weeks with, you know, your, your sort of your most exciting team, your, your favourite team, and then the week after you think, well, it's a bit boring to be playing with the same team over and over again. I kind of want to change and I'm going to go build some something slightly cheaper. Then, yeah, sure, if you're chopping and changing and, and mixing and matching and whatever, then spending 300, 350k on a fullback might not be your jam, and that's fine. But for me personally, if I was running an account where... I didn't have to create content, I would 100% be keeping this guy and he would be my left back until the end of the game and EA could quite literally release anyone. They could give me a 99 Carlos and I would still find reasons why Robertson would be the better player for me. I would use the 99 Carlos, I won't lie, but um, this card can compete with anything and I think that's why it's probably the best left back in the game. And I hadn't really realised how, how good the team of the year left back is I mean I, I say always oh, probably the best left back in the game and a lot of you might be thinking well duh of course he is I, I mean there might be a better one but I can't think of one off the top of my head that can compete with this card because it's so well rounded and with a chem style turns into a near perfect player and the, the mad thing about that is of course you can play him in any position yeah okay two star weak foot we might as well talk about it before we end the video two star weak foot is the biggest downfall of the card as well as the the strength actually so that's why maybe as i said a sentinel wouldn't be a bad chem style i did say backbone but looking back maybe a sentinel wouldn't be a terrible idea because you get that extra strength boost and then the only negative to, to speak of other than maybe the attack side of his game which i'm not really that bothered about would be the two star weak foot which unfortunately we can't improve but all in all when all said and done i think this is an absolutely fantastic card and uh, 300 to 350 fine because you'll play with him until the end of the game if you can afford van dyke as well by the way i mean that is just a partnership made in heaven with uh, i don't know 
Jordan Henderson in front of him. Yeah, I mean, that's a nice little triangle to have if you're made of money, of course. Let me know what you think of the card in the comment section down below. If you have enjoyed the player review, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.